My brother used to be an artist and my grandmother used to make pottery. So after school, when I was still in primary school, I used to come and draw on my grandmother's pottery. Then she discovered my talent. She started to give me a work to do, like paint the pottery. So the journey started from there. So when I was in high school, my brother was a sculptor. I used to visit his studio each and every often for me to get inspired and some of his friends. So uh, all of them in my family, they were like uh, self-taught. So I challenged myself to go to School of Art at the National uh, Color of Zimbabwe for three years. I was walking one day in Long Street, uh, corner Long and Church. Uh, I saw the person I know back home from Zimbabwe and uh, they were looking for a job, but the way they were looking for a job, they were like selling their body like sex workers. So for me, I was so touched about that because they, these are the people who were like, educated, people who were like inspiring the community. But now in South Africa, things are tough for them. They are looking for ends meet. The focal point on, the, on the, the message I'm trying to put out there in the painting, it's how people, uh, immigrants uh, who are living in, uh, in a foreign country or in a diaspora, how things they are tough for them and how are they surviving. My grandmother used to use those leaves for if anyone at home coughing, anyone not feeling well, or they believe also it's a lucky leaf. For us, it's like uh, it's part of our our family, part of our heritage in the Shona culture. They they call it the lily leaves. <laughs> 